We frequently get calls from parents wondering if we are comfortable with treating babies and children. The answer is yes. I've been doing this for 13 years and have treated many, many children for all types of conditions. We make sure that we have a safe but yet effective treatment. Some of the common conditions that we see here are birth-related complications, um, near drown, cerebral palsy, autism, to name a few. The next question we get asked quite a bit is, are we equipped to treat children and babies? Again, the answer is yes. We make sure we have all the necessary medical equipment for both children and adults. Um, for example, we have 100% cotton clothing for our children. Um, cotton doesn't carry static like synthetic fibers do, so that's why we make sure to have 100% cotton, uh, and we keep it here while they're in treatment, and it's all washed here as well. Besides that, we have our basic um, vitals. We have blood pressure, um, pole socks for children. We have every, um, looking into their ears for pediatrics as well to make sure they can clear okay with their ears. Another question they may ask too is, if I have a baby, can I go in with them? The answer is yes. If it's medically necessary for you to accompany your child in the chamber, we will put a parent or caregiver in with them. Again, the parent will still be worked up just like the child will. We'll have the same set of vitals, 100% cotton clothing. We'll check their ears just like we do the babies to make sure we have a safe and effective treatment for all ages of children that we treat here. Some examples of some of the patients we treated here, our first one I'm gonna tell you about is a two-year-old baby that was found floating in a pool. Where in the hospital, the mother contacted me to see if hyperbarics could help her child. And at this time, they had already been recommended by a team of doctors to take the baby off the ventilator, stop nutritional support, and the baby was never gonna make it out of the hospital. Mother was persistent and baby was strong and he did make it out of the hospital. Uh, the first day that they got out, the mother brought the baby to me, and upon arrival, the baby was in a vegetative state. Uh, he wasn't tracking his eyes, just had a blank stare, was nonverbal um, and, and not alert to pain. So after a series of treatments with him, he started looking when you call his name, which was awesome. He was moving his arms and legs a lot better. Um, he was starting to make noises, uh, and then now, as an update on him, He's doing PT, speech, and um, OT as well. He's starting to learn to walk again, um, which is a huge milestone for us and um, just another step forward in his healing for a baby that was never supposed to make it out of the hospital. Another example is one of the youngest babies I've treated in my whole career. She was actually seven weeks old, um, suffering a brain injury from a birth complication. The parents found us. Uh, we started treatment, again, a very safe yet effective treatment for this child. And after just a couple treatments, the baby started crying again. You know, a baby crying to you and I, make that baby stop crying, it's annoying. But when you deal with a brain injured child that cannot communicate for anything because their brain injury and they cry for the first time, again, another huge milestone on that baby. Um, and we hope the best for her as well. Another example um, is an eight-year-old autistic child. And this mother actually found me on Facebook and she asked, you know, why are your prices different than others? And I said, well, you're probably looking around, so do your due diligence. Please come check us out and I can explain how we would treat your child. After that consult, they were already scheduling for appointments. Uh, we started treating this child. Mother went in with him as well. And um, upon arrival, he was not verbal, uh, you know, would just have a lot of noises, not, no eye contact. You couldn't really touch him, uh, which is typical in a lot of autistic children. After he was done, with his treatments. Uh, he was able to be a lot more verbal, being able to communicate with his mother. I remember one time they were walking out the door, which typically mom walks him out the door. It's like, oh, come on, grabbing him by the arm, and they just go out. So this one time he stops mom, and mom's like, okay, come on. And he's like, no, pee pee, pee pee. And pee pee pointing to the bathroom. Again, a eight year old child telling you he has to go to the bathroom is nothing to a lot of people. But when you're experiencing that, and for him to one, communicate, he has to go to the restroom. And two, tell mom I need to go now and point to the restroom. That's a huge uh, milestone with his healing as well. So for all the conditions we treat, we get different results for them, um, but they're all on a step forward in quality of life and a change of life for our children.
Just like some of the cases of the patients I just explained to you, if you feel that you, our loved one, could benefit from having hyperbaric oxygen therapy, give us a call today as we'd be more than happy to answer your questions and tell you how we can assist in the healing of your child.